What's up, this is Chris Johnson, AKA Master Trainer, Master Teacher, Mentor. We're gonna be talking about other people's success is not a failure to you. Just because you see other people being successful does not mean that you're not successful. I mean, face it, I mean, we've all been there before. You know, you look to the right, look to the left, and you're like, wow, their life is changing, they're winning, they got a new car, they got new clothes, whatever it is. Just because they're having success doesn't mean that you're failing. What it does mean is that everyone develops, achieves milestones, and reach uh, peaks in their life at different stages. So it always look like someone is doing a little bit more or people may be looking at you and saying, man, this guy's always improving. He's always winning. Other people's success should help you generate thoughts. It should help you with being creative. You know, this is something that I do, okay? I look at other people in my industry and I look for the best. And I can name a few, but if I name one, I'm gonna have to name them all. They, there are very, very, very good developers and teachers in the independent world of training. Those guys, I study, I watch, I see if I can learn something, uh, learn one thing. I don't know everything. So I wanna be vulnerable to learn from them and see what is making them successful so that maybe I could take one thing and add to my bag that can make me a little bit more successful. You know, I've never looked at someone else growing financially. You know, I never count other people's pockets. And you know, you run into that. You see other people looking at other people's success as their failure. Like you can see people do it all the time. Like, man, I ain't in the league and he's doing this and I can do that too. Instead of them looking at like, what are all the possibilities that we can control to get to the league? What are the things that we can do on a day-to-day -day basis that can increase your chances to be recognized by teams uh, to help you make those corner threes or to finish better at the rim, which will entail give you a better opportunity to be in the league. Um, you know, growing up when I was younger, I knew what my gift was. And my gift is always to uplift, to motivate and equip others so that they can be the most successful they can be. That's not everybody's gift. That's not, maybe not your gift, it's maybe not his gift, but that's my gift. And when they talk about gifts, they talk about things that you do natural. You know, you're operating in things that you do natural. This is natural for me to be able to talk, to share information, and hopefully I can reach one or two people to change their life today. Others people's success is not your failure. It's not, it is not. So here's a few things that I want you to do when you're looking at other people's success. Cause it's okay to look. It's okay to see somebody have a YouTube channel that's at 2.2 million and you have 100,000, it's okay. <clears throat> you should take notes, you should reach out to them, you should email them. Maybe they share some of the, their secrets or some of the things that they picked up on along the way so that they can share with you and help you become successful. If you stand off, you envy them, and you, you just look at their success like, man, why they can't be me, why can't they be me, and not do anything about it, and not put an action plan together to really move forward, then you're not gonna go nowhere. One year from the day, you'll be in the same position. You'll be in the same spot. So let's utilize watching what other people did in the past. I study all the time. I love watching old movies. I love reading books that were wrote, you know, 10 years ago, 15 years ago. Um, and I'm always looking for mentors. I know you're like, wait a minute. You got a mentor, you are the mentor, I am. But there's someone that has done something that I have not done. 
and I want to learn as much from that person as possible. You know, mentors are so important to me. And I think the mentors like myself can help redirect, reshape, and, you know, get your mindset to be different so that you won't look at, you know, how you're moving and compare it to somebody else. I think that's something that we learn. I think it's something that we learn in society. We learn growing up. You know, you see someone scoring 20 points in a game. Either you can hate, you know, and try to do things to distract them from being successful. You can sit back and watch and become a spectator. Or you can get involved in part of their process that was helping them become successful. You know, for me, always choosing that last one gave me all the pieces that I need to work with different people in different genres, different avenues, and to try to be like a sponge and soak up as much information as possible in the growth process. Um, I have another good example. Um, one of the guys I grew up with, you know, he, he didn't work as hard as I did, but he was super talented. And everything just came really easy for him. Every college in the country wanted him. Yeah, I had a lot of offers and everything like that, but like, I felt like, personally, I was better. I was a better player. I was a harder worker. And, you know, watching him get the shine that I eventually got, it just motivated me. You know, it motivated me to get out and run more hills, to do more sprints, to, to shoot more jumpers, to, to stay in the gym, to get to school, you know, an hour before school started to put in some work. You know, I was motivated by the fact that he was being written in the paper, that he was being successful, and I was right here being successful with him, but I didn't take that as my failure, I took it as motivation. I took it and I turned it into motivation. And that's what I'm challenging you guys to do today. You know, I want you to drop your comments below and let's let's have a conversation. Or you can text me, you know, 310-388-8610. You can definitely text me and we can start talking about, you know, other people around you having success and what your failures are and what is your success doing to other people around you. You know, people call them haters. Shake them haters off, get them haters away from you. But sometimes those people are instant motivators, instant motivation to make you go through the roof to become successful. This has been another great episode of Real Talk with CJ. If you haven't done it yet, make sure you turn on your post notifications and drop all your comments below. Make, you, make sure you subscribe to this channel and just hoop.